Uh, so police just wrapped up their press conference. What they say is that this incident started with a traffic stop. They say that the driver fled. Foxtrot was overhead and they were able to track that driver. Uh, they say that the driver stopped the car, that he and a female passenger got out of the vehicle. The female passenger stayed near the vehicle, but police say the 33 year old man uh, started to, to try to blend in in this neighborhood. Um, Officers spotted that man and they say that he pointed a gun at a police officer, that the officer fired his weapon, striking the suspect. Police say that that 33 year old suspect has died from his injuries. Police say that the suspect had a real semi automatic gun and a replica gun on him. They say that he pointed the real gun at the officer. They say that they know it was that that weapon uh, because the replica gun was in a bag. Um, we're back out live now. Uh, Baltimore police are still here on the scene investigating this shooting. Uh, this is in the area of Gwynn's Falls Parkway and Roslyn Avenue. If you're familiar with this area, it's near Garwin Medical Center. Uh, none of the police, Baltimore police officers involved in this incident have been injured. We don't know much about the officer who fired his weapon. Uh, Baltimore police spokesman TJ Smith says that he is a veteran, um, but he's not releasing any more details other than that. Uh, the officer is going to be on leave. Uh, police say that this is a traumatic incident and uh, they're investigating and that's why the officer will be on leave. But again, uh, police say a 33 year old suspect was shot and killed by a police officer. No officers were injured in the incident and uh, it is under investigation by the police department. We're live tonight in Northwest Baltimore. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.